said no, the stern's the back of the boat. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Average Joe Movie Show. That's not as good. Did it work? That's, that's really good. It almost feels like Justin's here. Okay. <laughs> oh, you need to throw out a racial slur. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My name's Zach. I'm here with Matt, Jeremy, Hi. and Brandon. You said Jeremy. I own Jeremy. No. I'm nice nice first bump. bump. I like bump it. To the oh. audience. This week, we are going to be reviewing really one movie, but that's going to branch into at least three movies, possibly more. I think there's a Sasquatch out there. We would really be limiting ourselves. It's only three. Um, we're going to start out by reviewing Transformers Two. Is that true? No, I'm sorry. We're gonna we're gonna start by Transformers One. And I'm hoping to get counsel on Transformers Two and Transformers Three. Isn't it out? Yeah. It's been out a while, right? Mm -hmm. Dark Side of the Moon or something? Return of the Sith? Dark yeah. Side. What is it? It's it's the Dark Side of the Sith. Yes. <laughs> Returns. <laughs> Return of Jedi's. Oh, it's trash the moon. <laughs> okay, so Transformers 1, 30 second rundown. Over anger. 30 second rundown is, uh, I gotta remember now. Um, it's about mean? Transformers. Okay. There was a girl that's kind of uh, freaky yeah. but really hot yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I really got that, but hot, kind of freaky girl. Okay, so Transformers 1. <laughs> uh, guy is kind of a kind of a little bit of a geek, a little bit of an outcast, loser, a little bit of a loser. Goes to buy his first car, and uh, kind of gets this weird car. Turns out, the car is a transformer because this kid's grandfather was a great explorer and accidentally. Witwicky. Witwicky, thank you. Uh, Doctor Witwicky. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> yeah, Captain. No, Captain Witwicky. There you go. Uh, discovered a transformer in the ice. Well, we come to find out that a long time ago, the transformer planet got into a big fight. There were good transformers, bad transformers. Got into a big fight, destroyed their planet. Decepticons, head Decepticon, which is... Optimus Prime. No, that's... Voldemort. Mega Vader. Megatron. Megatron, thank you. Megatron comes flying by. He's looking for the Ark Cube. Yeah, the Ark of Covenant. The Ark of the Ark of yeah, Covenant. What the, what the Ark? Before the Nazis in, find it's it. It's buried in Egypt. <laughs> anyway, so Megatron comes he's here. Got his whip. They're looking for the Allspark. Allspark. The Allspark. That's right. And, uh, but he gets knocked off course, gets frozen. So they find it. They find the all spark. Decepticons are coming. The Transformers are trying to protect this kid Autobots. because because when his great grandfather found a uh, super bad Decepticon, uh, it imprinted on him, and now he's in love with his daughter, his unborn child. Sorry. So <laughs> what? Wait, what? That was a Twilight comment. Okay. Don't pretend like you don't get okay. it. Okay, I, I, I don't. don't get it. Yeah, you totally. Don't. <laughs> I, no. The, 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 <laughs> some sort of coordinates. The coordinates. There's are, Justin. Of reference to me. I, I still don't get it. The coordinates of the AllSpark get imprinted on his glasses. Glasses. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, about, so they're trying to protect this kid. Can they protect this kid there's from? No team Jacob. No. Team can they protect Jacob. this kid from the Decepticons? Can they find the AllSpark? Can Optimus Prime kill Megatron? And uh, can I interject at this point? Yes, you may. Please do. Despite her making me a little uncomfortable because she's freaky, at least they got a hot girl in my Twilight. Okay. Plus one for Transformers. So here's my thing. As long as she smiled. Here's my thing about Transformers. I think she does. I think that is. <laughs> here's my thing about Transformers. It came out as a uh, summer blockbuster. Yeah. <laughs> you put it up against. Incredibly popular. Incredibly popular, awesome, great special effects, huge budget, uh, a classic story that we all know. You put it up with um, Iron Man, you put it up with Spider Man, you put it up in those summer blockbuster films, um, Armageddon, well, not Armageddon, kind of Armageddon maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, no. even Independence Day. Transformers, in my opinion, was a great film that was just unnecessarily coarse. Mm. Everything about it, if there was room for a sexual <laughs> joke, it was the in there. If there was a short skirt, it needed to be shorter. 
if it was a midriff, it needed to be higher. It was just, it was a, I found myself really wanting to enjoy the film, but I couldn't because the whole time I just thought, I, I was just uncomfortable. I mean, you know, you go into, no. you go into a movie like Year One or a movie like Hot Tub Time Machine, you expect that, right? But a movie like Transformers, where the special effects could have carried it, the awesomeness of Transformers that we all grew up with could have carried it, the cool story could have carried it, and they just had to pepper in just this constant yeah. gritty stuff that just was unnecessary. So for me, I give it a thumbs down. Like I, I won't watch it again. I'm done with Transformers. So, any other I actually didn't like Sorry. it, but I, but I think I go along with you that they did miss their target audience. You know, it was us. You know, the people that grew up with Transformers, and it seemed to me that they were going for a much more teenage crowd. Like the American Pie crowd, yes. right, almost. A raunchier crowd. Yes. Where they didn't no need that at all. to hit all of the rest of us. You just watch, I mean, you're watching robots. Yeah, you just watch the fight scenes. I mean, how cool is that? They did a good job of the. See, well, I didn't like I, the I could critique scenes. that too, yeah. I, I didn't because everything was so close and fast, except for the one fight scene where Optimus Prime is fighting the one. Bad guy under the, the slow motion. Oh yeah, and he, you know he cuts off his head. When they're driving, when they're yeah. kind of driving yeah. next yeah. to each other, yeah. and then that like, was awesome. That was but cool. most of the things that like take the first fight, for example, Bumblebee and, and yes, but Muggle gone, Khan Garam. Muggle. He was that the cop? Uh -huh. it Muggle I think Khan. So. Khan. Yeah, with the th mm -hmm. things, and when they're fighting, and you don't see anything. Yeah, yet. they roll over a right. hill, yeah. and then all of a sudden, Bumblebee comes walking up here. Wow, you so see you spent two hundred million on Yeah, they could have zoomed one. out eighty feet. But but the actual like transforming of them yeah, and the very way they cool. made them look, I yeah. thought that was cool. Yeah. Very cool. My, Michael Bay is the guy that did it and he is right now he's doing the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He's already they're said, aliens. Yeah, he's already said he's gonna totally change the origin <laughs> story and stuff. It's like who keeps giving this Imbecile. Yeah. Well, now, didn't he do? Over, didn't he, he do King did, Kong and Transformers too? I think. King Kong. King Kong's Peter Jackson, right? You talking yeah. about the new? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 He did do something else. I mean, you know, Transformers wasn't his first, but I don't. Yeah, he did Armageddon. Oh, was he Armageddon? Yeah. Which I love. You know, it's too I bad that it was successful because if it had been a yeah, you know, bomb. If it had gone in the trash can, then he probably wouldn't. Got there was okay, some stuff in Armageddon though that I mean I use it all the time as my even though I liked it a lot the there's things start to look like they're gonna go good no we gotta totally blow it up yeah yeah things look like they might go oh no blow it up yeah yeah every storytelling. possible yeah. thing yeah. went wrong okay not, so not 2012 well no, no not quite 2012 yeah. Not that yeah. ridiculous level. Armageddon crossed the line for me in, in that the, the first, it's really two movies. The first half of the movie when they're on Earth, hilarious, awesome, mm -hmm. space cowboys type movie. Yeah. The second half when they're in space was cool and funny, but completely unrealistic. You know, like they're Baja on the asteroid, they're, the dude falls off and somehow tethers on and flat. I mean, they shoot through the impenetrable. Anyway, the actual Transformers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought I was wrong. Back to Transformers. So, Transformers 2. Is the last thing I like on Astro. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. I went. I. Uh, yeah, Borrow my from a long chart, though. That's <laughs> crazy. I watched about 15 minutes of Transformers 2 and turned it off. Did anybody. Did I. Was that a mistake? Could I have made, made it through and it gets better? No. To me, it seemed like a I watched it all. I, I, I watched it all. I sat through all. I watched I, the third one, too. And I watched the third okay, one. Okay, so that's what I really what I wanted to hear. Was the third one good? It was, was better it? than two. They, they all you say no. <laughs> two was bad. Can, I'm not Can talking about, them, though, I'm not talking about a dumb movie. I'm talking about right. un, all the, inappropriate. And it was, they were still inappropriate. There was less inappropriate in... Because Megan Fox is doing it, right? Right, but they haven't got a new model. So okay. they're still inappropriate. Well, yeah, Megan Fox was... Uh, obviously, was... Always wearing very little, but in the second movie, there's even more just ridiculous stuff. Yeah, just yeah, there's the no it's all doing, her doing the artwork on the motorcycle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the two like teenage robots right. that 
had all kinds of. Okay, so Transformers things. three, good or skip it? I thought it was better in the second. Does, it, the does second. it clean it up? Um, I, well, there's like there's always the one part, but I say there is less. I think there is less. Yeah. yeah. Although really, um, and I think even the star said should we shoot a log a little bit? Uh huh. She right. said shove along. So he said. He Le said Bob. that if they do another one, he's not going to do it because he's like, you know, they're kind of just keeping me around because I was part of the first one and the second one. Really, they're, it's getting harder and harder to tie me to the story. Um, and it was the same for half the guys. They found ways, hey, we're driving through Pittsburgh. This guy's retired now. Let's go get him right. and take him with right. us to fight the bad guys. It's just... Started, it went from a story in the first one. At least there was a story. Yeah. yeah. You know, as, as crappy as it was, at least there was a story. And then the second one's kind of like, okay, yeah, you can tell they're starting to, all right, let's try to pull these guys together. But at least there's something there. The third one, it might have been better action-wise and less crap in it, but they were just pulling stuff out of the air. You know, to make it okay. if they would just go back to the cartoons and make a movie how the cartoons were, that was about the robots. It was about the Transformers and less about the humans. Yeah. yeah. And so it was the robots that were the characters and the actors instead of the humans. Yeah. I think it's it's it over over now? Now? You think it's over now? The Transformers? I think How did Transformers know. 3 do? I'm sure it did well. I'm sure it did yeah. fine. I don't know. I don't know. They all did, I, that, I don't really understand um, how they did so well. But I guess there's just, just a lot of people out there. Cool effects. Right? And the special yeah. effects are great. But number two kicks me off. It's bad. All right, so I think in review, Transformers pretty much gets a, from all of us, gets a universal, eh, from me, it gets a skip it. It's, uh, you, know, you guys it. liked it, right? Yeah, yeah I like no, it. no, I liked it. Because, it's, again, it's, it's Transformers. Transformers. Yeah. 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 But that's why I liked it, not because of any other. So did you like G.I. Joe? No, that was terrible. Joe. I was just going to say, they did ruin that one for me. Anyway. So there's another one coming out. The second out. one actually does the previews. I've watched mm-hmm. them. Like, hey, I hope it's better. It actually Because I thought they did down. just a terrible job. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for this show. Thanks very much to our sponsor, The Average Show Movie Show. Ten credits. We're sponsor sponsor. Ourselves. We're sponsoring this? Yes, we sponsor too. ourselves. What? How much do we give ourselves, like money-wise? Because I haven't got when it. We <laughs> give ourselves... 300% of revenue brought in by the average show movie yes. show. Uh, also, we'd like to thank our other sponsor, oh the FSA Stock Exchange. 10 credits to the first person who posts anything. The on year the <laughs> the the oh. Transformers came out. Okay. The original? Yeah, yeah, the cartoon. Cartoon. Mm-hmm. Two, two mm-hmm. contests here. 10 credits to the first person who posts on our Facebook page because you will be the first non-Joe <laughs> to post. And uh, minus a wife. The wives don't count. And then 10 credits... Uh-huh. And then 10 credits to the first person who posts the year that Transformers the cartoon first aired. Uh, find us on Facebook.com slash Average Joe Movie Show. And uh, leave your comments, questions, and concerns. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. What kind of concerns would they do, like, just as an example? Maybe, like, the lighting isn't right? I think that they're concerned about my hair loss being cancer. It's barely noticeable. It's barely noticeable.